Hey beauties, welcome back to 2000 and Pretty. I know that this is a different background. You've seen this before, but it's been a while since I've been on my big red comfy couch. Um, but in this video, I want to talk about um, the kind of anti-haul-esque kind of videos or the will I buy it kind of videos. Um, everyone knows that Kimberly Clark started the whole anti-haul movement like at least as far as I know I, as far as I'm aware Kimberly Clark did the whole got the whole anti-haul thing going which I think is a brilliant idea because there's just some things that you know when it comes to consumerism we have to put our foot down and say no we are not gonna buy this because we don't need it it's not suited for us uh, wherever reasons to not purchase a product um, there's you know there's the need to put a foot down and put a stand and and say I'm not gonna do it because when you're in YouTube and especially this YouTube beauty world when you're into this we get swept up so very easily and it's so easy to just impulse purchase and so I think the anti hauls are great and I've been wanting to do them for a while and I think I will get into them in 2017 and also, a young lady, her name was Samantha March, I believe. Let me double check. Yeah, Samantha March. Um, I don't know how I came across her channel. I just kind of stumbled across it. I think I probably stumbled across it while watching an anti-haul video. It probably came up on the feed. But she does, I think she does anti-hauls as well. But she also does videos that she calls Will I Buy, where it's not necessarily an anti-haul. It's not something that she's saying, no, I'm not absolutely going to buy this. But she picks a few products that have come out maybe for the month or so, and she kind of deliberates on whether or not she's going to make a purchase. You know, a lot of these things we see on YouTube, it's just a lot of hype. And so that's her thing. She gets into it about whether or not she's going to purchase it. And so I thought that that was also a brilliant idea and I want to get into doing that as well. So in this video, I have a few things. I, I think I want to call this buy or buy. I know when people do buy or buys, it's usually things that they have bought, they are doing reviews and they're suggesting to you whether or not you should buy it or whether or not you should say goodbye to it and pass on it. But for me, a buy or buy, I want to talk about whether or not I am going to buy something. I want to talk about whether or not, you know, whether it's something that that's on trend or something that has recently been released if I have any intention of purchasing it within the year of 2017 and that would be my buy B-U-Y or if I'm going to pass on it and say buy like B-Y-E <laughs> so just wanted to clear that up in this introduction really quickly I hope it didn't you know <laughs> it wasn't too long but so in this video I want to do the buy a buy first and I want to first start off with lip palettes okay so lip palettes from any brand, it doesn't matter if it's Elf, whether it is Anastasia of Beverly Hills, Urban Decay, um, L'Oreal, Maybelline, there's a couple, those are the brands that I know of that have recently released lip palettes and I am a lipstick junkie. There is no shame behind that. I am a lipstick junkie. I am all aboard for a good lipstick. However, I am not a makeup artist. And as appealing as the lip palettes may seem, especially the Anastasia one, that one really has me giving it the googly eye. I'm really, like, I've really considered picking that one up, but I've decided against lip palettes as a whole because they don't suit the way I use makeup. You know, um, I think lip palettes are awesome if you're a makeup artist, you have something there that you can work with very easily, you can move on from the client to the next, but I personally prefer lipstick in a bullet or I prefer it in a tube, you know, something like that. That's just easy to use and easy to throw in my purse and go and all of that jazz. For me, realistically, I'm not going to apply a lip a lipstick from a lip palette at home and then take that lip palette with me when I'm out and you know have to retouch or do anything like that so a lip palette would not service me it doesn't matter the brands no shade to any of these brands it's just that that just doesn't work for for my preferences the next thing that I have on this list <clears throat> I have the Nicole Guerrero and ABH glow kit um this thing 
is something that I'm thinking about buying it. I don't know if it's limited edition or not. Do you guys know if it's limited edition? If, if you know, leave it in the comments and I'll refer to that. But I don't know if it's limited edition. I am intrigued. I am interested because I have two of the glow kits. I have that glow and I have sun dipped and I love them. I'm glad, however, that I did not pick up the Ultimate Glow Kit because one, the reviews on it were just horrible from people that actually purchased it, not just people that were sent the item. From people that actually purchased the item, purchased the Ultimate Glow Kit, not very many of them liked it. You have some people that, of course, enjoyed the glitter and all that, but for the most part, people didn't like it because they said that it's a different formula from the original Glow Kit. Now, the Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit has not, I think it comes out today. Um, today is Sunday the 26th, and I think it comes out today, And um, but there were people that were sent it ahead of time, of course, you know, the bloggers and bloggers, they were sent it ahead of time that are on our Celestia's PR list, and they're saying it's good. I've seen one or two people that were able to pick it up early because their store had it early and sold it to them ahead of time, and the people that actually purchased it, the two or three people that I've seen purchase it say that the formulas the say that the um, highlighters in the kit are more similar to the original Anastasia Glow Kit highlighter formula and there's one or two shades in the palette that you know are iffy but are still better than the Ultimate Glow Kit so I am thinking about purchasing it if it's not limited edition I am more likely to purchase it because if it is limited edition honestly I can't say that I am going to be interested in hunting it down if I can access it with ease then I might get it but the other reason for me not picking up the ultimate glow kit was because I actually swatched it in store and I hated it <laughs> I did not like it so hopefully I can get in store in time for the Nicole Guerrero palette and swatch it and see how I feel about it but I, I think I want to buy it I don't know completely yet I'm a little bit unsure about that I might not go you know that's always a, that's always a chance I hope it's not limited edition though okay next up continuing with highlighters the highlight the Kylie Jenner highlighters I do not own anything from Kylie Jenner and it has nothing to do with her being a Jenner slash Kardashian it's just that her products are not easily accessible to me and I am not about to stress out to get some Kylie cosmetic products I'm just not gonna do it and also I don't necessarily care for her pricing I don't care for the shipping costs I don't care for any of that um, and then two her products too closely resemble that of ColourPop for me in the sense that <clears throat> ColourPop makes the same exact kind of products for a fraction of her price. So yeah, I'm going to pass on the highlighters. I'm going to pass on the highlighters. Well, so I'm not going to buy so that. Buy that. The makeup, the pigments, makeup geek and pigments her pigment and glosses. her pigment glosses. I think I will pick up, I think a, few I will pick up a few of the makeup geek pigments. I'm a sucker for pigments. I'm a sucker for pigments. I love pigments. Love pigments. Love pigments. pigments. They, are so they are so saturated. They are so saturated. And they are just amazing. <laughs> okay. Okay. There are a few. There are a few. I've seen videos of so there are them. So there are a few videos of pigments for me that I am going to pick However, I will not pick However, I will not be picking up the glosses. Mm. I'm not mm. crazy about I'm not spending, crazy a, lot about spending a lot of money on the gloss. To be you. perfectly honest with um, you, I don't um, wear it often I don't enough. Wear it and, if I enough do, and if I do wear a lip gloss, wear a lip the ones gloss, that I have from ones that I have from whatever brands that I actually have lip gloss from, I'm perfectly okay with using those. So I won't be picking up the glosses. I'm not going to spend a lot of money on the glosses, but I will. For sure. For sure. I have a few of the pigments this year. Next up. Continue with up. Continue Make with a pigment. Ever. Make up for ever. Starlet. Starlet. Pigments. pigments. Ooh. Those, Ooh. those things, are, things the, are the most beautiful, beautiful pigments I have, pigments I have ever, ever swatched. Swatched. Ever. Okay. Ever. And like okay. I said, and like I, am I said, I am a fanatic. I prefer fanatic. pigments. I prefer pigments. 
I prefer shimmery. I prefer shimmery, you know, like highlighting, you know, like highlighting frosty like pigments. Frosty not, I don't, I'm not a, a, a matte person. Not a, a matte person. It's a matte person. Matte person. Product, it's a matte product. I prefer it to be But when it comes to like, but when it comes to like a lid color, a lid color, shiny, 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 glittery, I prefer glittery. I prefer pigment and a loose pigment. Those, those makeup forever pigments have my have my heart. I swatched them. I swatched times, them a couple Sephora. of times in Sephora, and I from and the very I, first swatch, from the very first swatch, I fell in love. They are twenty one dollars. They are twenty one dollars a piece. So, so I will wait I will until wait the until the semi to pick up, pick up, pick up, pick up I'm gonna get them. I'm gonna get them. I'm gonna get them. I'm gonna get them. There's a whole. I don't know how many. I don't know how many. Quite a few. In store, I've seen. In store, I've seen. Put online. Put online. I've quite a few more. Quite a few more. Um. Um. But number twelve. Number twelve. Number fifteen. Number fifteen. Whichever four they have, whichever in four they have in store, I'm gonna get those. I'm gonna get during the semi annual sale because they are beautiful. Oh, and also to go along, also to go along with the solid pigments, they have like I think I may have it. I think I may not gonna go. I'm not gonna about that. One in particular, one in particular powder, kind of item, kind of item, or item more times than item more times than that. But Picking I up think one of them picking will up one of them will for days when I want to like when I want to see like that glossy lid without look being without it basil. You know, my lady, basil. I've seen someone do that in I've seen someone do that in the tutorial and I think it looks amazing. The next the thing next on thing this on is this is the Too Faced Sweet Peach, Peach, Peach collection. Peach collection. I know the Sweet Peach came out. I know the Sweet Peach came out holiday of Frank 16th. Holiday of last year. Holiday of last year. Um, and um, limited edition and, and first, limited edition and first, and, then, and then it came back and I it came back that all of the items that, that all of the items were brought back or were brought back or expanded have upon. been made permanent. And people are still going and people are still going crazy about, about, it. Going crazy about um, it. I've swatched um, I've them swatched in store when I went to store when I went to them or I've watched them. And I'm just the highlight palette, the highlight from the palette collection. From the Sweet Peach collection. I think it's like the highlight, it's like blush, a highlight bronzer. blush bronzer. I did not I like that. Did not like that. Skin. Skin. It felt really felt dry. Really dry. Felt um, really. Um, it looked really. Ashy. It looked really. Ashy. It looked really all of the shades. Like all of the shades. Like I didn't like any of the And then the and then the I think it's the peach. I think it's the blush. I did not like that. I did not like that at all. At all. And um, the eyeshadow was just okay. Eyeshadow was just okay, was okay in that I was I was too crazy over too crazy or over, like I didn't or like I didn't feel like I, feel like I needed it. I don't know. It just I don't know. It just I, I, don't know, it just, I impressed, impressed for all of the hype for all of the that hype surrounds, that surrounds the sweet peach. The sweet peach. I don't get it. I don't get it. Yeah, I don't get it because yeah, I don't get it because I wasn't moved. I wasn't moved at all. At all. At all. Anyway, let's move on to a anyway, let's move on to a product that I will be purchasing. Sephora released the Sephora brand itself. Sephora brand itself, not just Sephora brand, Sephora brand has expanded, has expanded their, their cream, their cream with lip stains. The Sephora, the Sephora lip stains or liquid lip stains are like are like probably my favorite. Probably my favorite. They're definitely. In my, in my top five, 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 liquid lipstick of formula. liquid lipstick formula. They are they amazing, are and amazing. When and these when these for yeah, you sale comes yeah, along, you sale comes there along. are a few there are sitting few in my cart, sitting in my cart. Purchase, purchase, purchase. I love purchase. 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 They had this really, purchase. they had this really teal shade, teal shade that I am attracted to, that I am attracted to, that I, that I, almost likely, I hopefully it's available, hopefully it's available by the time the sale comes along, by the time the sale comes along. That's on my lips. That's because on my lips. It looks because amazing. It looks amazing. And it's beautiful. And, and it's beautiful. I want it. And I want it. <laughs> All right. What else is on All my? Right. What else is on my lips? Pastel. 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 Palette. So, Kat so Von D, Kat Von D and also Lorac released their own released version, their own version of these um, pastel, pastel kind of palette. The, kind of palette. Kat Von D one, Kat Von D one is called pastel, pastel, pastel goth, and I believe, believe Lorac one is Lorac one is something brunch, something brunch. I'm not gonna get any pastel. I'm not gonna get any pastel. I feel like on my skin tone, I feel like on my skin tone, tone, they are going to look quite ashy. Quite ashy. Okay. Ashy. okay. With an assurance. With an assurance. I, I feel like I say that they are gonna look say that they are pretty ashy on me. Pretty ashy on um, me. Um, for all of that, I for all just, of that, I will just use shadows that I have. Use shadows that, that I have that, that fully saturated. Fully saturated with pigment. 
you know, if that's what I was going. You know, if that's what I was going. When I put eyeshadows on my eyelids, especially when I take them to sit there and apply it, I want the colors that I'm applying to have a certain amount of have a certain amount of intensity and a certain amount of luster to them. And for me, and for me, pastel doesn't really pastel doesn't really do it. To a great extent, there are great extent, extent, there are occasions where I use something, where I something that is sure, fine, fine, you know, sure, that's fine. That's what a pastel shade that's what a pastel shade is, and that's fine. However, however, I don't think I need to buy a pastel pastel palette. I just don't see that in the car. Don't see that to in the car. close to this close video this out. video the last out. item, the last that item that I am interested in picking, up, interested in picking up, up at some point, at some point, <laughs> probably during the VIP, probably cell, during the some VIP point, cell, I'm, at some point, I'm at some point, I am going to get another Dior, another Dior air, moisturizer. I'm going to get the shade, I'm going to get the shade, my sweet, my sweet, darling, sweet, darling, 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 white, white. <laughs> purchase the zero zero four for me because I was I was just deliberating, I was just deliberating. For so, so long, <laughs> for so long, so hard about so hard that, about when I did that, that highlighter. When I did that highlighter so because I swatched so it. The I swatched time, it. I swatched time. I swatched up forever pigment, forever pigment. Fell in love with that one. Fell in love with that one too. But it's so expensive. But it's so expensive. So expensive. So expensive. And as much and as as much as I want it to pick, pick that I just would not let myself. I just would not let myself buy. I just wouldn't. I would not let myself. I would not let myself buy it. Dear sweet, my dear sweet for me, and I am. Absolutely, absolutely love the zero zero four. The zero zero four, which is I think it's just called. Which is, I think it's just bronze, called luminizer. Bronze luminizer. So when so Sephora when has Sephora has, has sale, sale, I will sale. I will zero zero three, which is zero zero three, which is which is which is which is which is and I think I will. And I think I will. I will be done. I will be done. Okay, because that day, because that day, is expensive. Expensive. But but. I love it. It's I love it. And I want it. And I want the gold one as well. Okay? Alright, guys. So, all right, guys. That so, that is the video. I really do hope the video. I really enjoyed it. Let me know. Enjoyed it. Let me know on your thoughts on releases. If there are things that you are going to be picking up, not 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 picking up, not